Hello guys, it's Letty. Oh my goodness, it's, <laughs> it's five in the morning. Um, I wanted to do a quick follow-up video. Now this video is going to be addressing some of the comments from the previous video that was really, I got a lot of comments and a lot of people subscribed and a lot of support. And why I have to say thank you very much for that. But let me say this, um, let me give you some background because I, I wanted to address some of the comments in this video um, because they're, they're good comments and they're interesting. One thing I observed just overall when I read the comments, um, now the video I'm talking about is, in case you, any, in case you guys don't know, is the, uh, the Tina Lawson and Rachel Lawson video that I did. Um, it was a lot of views and I appreciate you guys. I really do. Let me just start that off. Um, there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of hurt. People are, um, have gone through a lot in relationships. Uh, I've, ex Lord knows, I've experienced my share of pain, tears. Um, but at the end of the day, you have to realize, is this relationship worth kind of fighting for? And, um, I feel like if there's an open dialogue and two people are willing to express themselves without anger, without shouting, cussing, you know, and just express themselves, you know what, I really felt X, Y, and Z. I feel like any relationship can work. And both people are responsible. Both people are, are um, willing to admit fault, guilt, apologize. Being a person that can apologize, you know, is very important. And um, uh, I'm a person that uh, I've been married twice. Um, just give you a little history <laughs> with me. Married twice. One first marriage, um, was a, I was very young and it lasted three years. My second marriage is I'm currently married and um, I've been married 12 years. And, you know, I kind of learned some things <laughs> from that, um, that first marriage. So, you know, I approach everything in my life with taking responsibility. It's not an easy thing to do, but it's something that's, it's, 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 it's important. It's important, guys. Um, a man or a woman should be able to... If you can't say you're sorry, and that's that's not just for relationship, that's for anything in life, job related things. If I'm on the job and I've made I made a mistake or what have you, I'm gonna admit to it. I'm gonna say I'm sorry, and I will. And anybody that knows me personally, they know I will apologize when I'm wrong, and I will go and I go to the person and I explain, you know what, this, that, and the other happened. I felt you hurt me, and there are some people. I've done that too, and they've thrown it back in my face. And some people, we, we, you know, we clear the air. So it depends. But that's just the way I approach things, and um, that makes a marriage, I think, work. It, marriage is not easy, first of all. I don't care how nice you are, and I don't care how nice your spouse is or what have you. But when my husband and I, just a little brief before I get into the comments, and then um. When my husband and I were dating and we realized that maybe this was, we were going to go into this for the long haul, my husband did something that had never been done before from, you know, with me. And that he presented, um, um, well, presented, but he, we talked about some of the most testiest of subjects in a marriage, which is finance, children. Um, living arrangements, uh, you know, um, all those things before we said I do. We talked about all that. So I went into my relationship knowing how we were going to do our money, where are we going to live, what, are we having more children, da 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 da. You know, I mean, we, we, we talked about all these things. You have to talk about things. We have to stop rushing into relationships. Um, there's no There's no race. We're not trying to run a race to see how fast we can do anything. Let's just, we should gradually go into things. But 
that's just my opinion so um i'm gonna just go to some of these comments that's why this glare i'm looking at the computer guys so just give me one second um i got a lot of people saying that he should leave her <sighs> you know the goal is to make a marriage work i think if he came to her i don't know what's behind the scenes if he came to her and told her you know what that hurt me that bothered me what you said on that you know i think if he came to her i would hope i don't know if she's the type of person that you can come to like that because i'm like what my impression of that when that interview was that she's probably not <laughs> like oh sweetie i'm sorry she doesn't appear to be that in the video but maybe behind closed doors i don't know i'm praying that they don't get married I mean, not married they don't get divorced because it's a lot of divorce i hope they make it but who knows so i mean i would hope i really especially for me especially um i like to see black couples work um there's a couple um shanice and i don't know if any of you guys are familiar with shanice she was an artist back in the day r&b beautiful voice um she's married to her husband flex since 2000 about 18 years they've been married 18 years i'm, I'm just so happy to know that but the number one thing the only third party <laughs> in a relationship should be God. No other third parties poking in is gonna work. That's gonna definitely, and uh, I, I'm I'm happy to hear that they're still married. And, you know, a lot of couples are still married because marriage is not a bad thing as long as you're married to the right person. You know. So let me go back to these comments. Sorry, guys, getting off track like I do. Uh. Yeah, I see a lot of people saying he should divorce her. Uh, he has, yeah, it's it's just tough. But I think if a person's not even willing to have a dialogue with you, I don't know how that marriage is going to survive anyway. There, there needs to be dialogue and there needs to be responsibility. You have to be able to say you're sorry. Have I said things that I shouldn't have said? Heck yes. I put my foot in my mouth. I try not to as much now, but I've done it. I've done it. I've said things to my husband and I I felt so bad and I apologized. But he knows I apologize to him. I will close that we will go on, I will go in our we will go in our room and close the door because when I have a discussion with my another thing guys, when you have a discussion with your spouse, close the door. Don't let your kids see that or hear that. Those are mistakes that um I made. I did I fought in front of my kids. Don't do that especially if they're younger that that's a bad don't do that although they have grown kids you know but i i think they both have grown kids i i know he i think he has a daughter out um i think I, i'm not 100 percent sure but yeah don't fight in front of the kids close the door yeah, I see she dominated the conversation. She did. She didn't really let him talk. I don't, I didn't, I only saw that clip. So I didn't see the whole um, video. So I, you know, I, yeah, people just telling him to leave. If he expresses, I feel like this, you should leave a relationship. If you express your hurt to someone and they don't take it seriously or they're not willing to apologize, I think that you should not stay in that relationship because that's important that's important i saw somebody uh, put down here talking about my driving i'm a very safe driver guys <laughs> this person i'm addressed this uh they put in drunk driving texting first of all i don't text and drive i'm not a drinker <laughs> so you you're not gonna catch me drinking and driving absolutely that's never no never gonna do that but I just thought that was interesting. I don't know. I don't know. The person was just saying, you know, be trust me. I was paying attention to the road when I did the video. I was because there were people jumping out in front of me every five minutes. And I think I did even comment on that. <laughs> One person was walking across the street like this. 
not paying attention at all. So I, I was watching that person. So anyway, I just thought that was that was a little that was an interesting video, an interesting comment. But a lot of them were very positive. I you know I appreciate you guys, but this is just how I feel. You know, like I did, I did a video about this years ago, and I said almost the same thing that women should let men take the lead. Women should men should approach. I'm an old fashioned type of person. I don't you don't have to change things. Everything does not have to change in life. I think that when things work, they work. I feel like that's how you know a man is interested in you. You let him approach you because that's just the way it was designed. It, it was designed that way. You're not supposed to be the pursuers. And I haven't done it. I've been married twice. I haven't had to pursue anybody. But see, that's how you know the man is interested in you. You know, so... I am so sorry, guys. This pimple, I am just too old to be getting pimples like this. I, I just, it's unbelievable. I don't know. I'm going to need to look for some skin care treatment. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got this huge thing. I hate doing videos. And I just, just, ooh, just drives me crazy. <laughs> like I say, I'm real. I don't, um, you know, I'm just real a real person. I ain't, ain't nothing fancy going on here. Someone commented, and I'm going to read her. I think this is a she. I don't know. It says, Sister, I think you halfway right. You must prepare yourself for a man, but stop praying for one. If I was God, I would say I got better things to do. <sighs> yeah. I'm not. Well, first of all, I'm married, so I'm not praying for God. I'm praying for a man. Um, God doesn't say that we can't pray for okay he doesn't say in the bible okay don't pray for that because that's not important all of our prayers are important to him there are more serious prayers you know i would think you know we we pray for jobs and financial um relief and blessings and things like that um but um Who's to say that's not an important prayer? I mean, any prayer is important to God. God listens to us no matter what. He's not, he doesn't operate that way. We talk to him about anything. It could be, you know what, Lord, help me with my day today at work. Help me get, help me to not have road rage in traffic. I pray, but I pray to God about everything. Okay, there's no subject that's off limits as far as he's concerned. Trust me. He doesn't think anything is minor, you know. So that's just how good and how wonderful, what, what how wonderful of a God we serve, and that's, that's just how I feel. Oh my God, I did talk about men. Um, oh yeah, they just a lot of people said, "Why is he married? Why would he do that?" Well, he thought that um, he had to have some. There was something interesting about her. She is an interesting woman. I'm not gonna lie, you know, she's built this empire, her and her um, ex-husband, you know, and their children. I mean, Beyonce, you don't even have to speak, you know, with what they've accomplished. But like I said, there's a lot of, you know, we, we, we saw publicly, I mean, she was humiliated publicly. So we gotta think back to the history is that he he that was embarrassing and then to produce children while you're married oh that's just that is just horrible and for the world to see it's embarrassing it, that that was hard. that was a lot to go through so you really got to ask God to say God you know help me to not be bitter to take um to get rid of baggage and when I go into this next relationship her next marriage to um help me to heal from my previous um, situation because that was that was tough that was tough I mean that was really tough you guys you remember you know his he had mistresses and stuff coming out of you know the that Beyonce's father was just it was it was crazy it was crazy guys it was crazy and you know she's still it's, it's hurtful it's hurtful but she's got to not carry that on with Mr. Lawson because that wasn't his fault. He wasn't there and he's trying to 
build something with you and you, you gotta work with him. You gotta work with him and you gotta just say, you know, babe, I'm still hurting. You gotta pray. You know, prayer is just so I couldn't I cannot stress that enough. Prayer is important in anything, especially relationships, honey. Because you're gonna be it's your relationship's gonna be constantly <laughs> it's work. It's just like exercise. We gotta work, we gotta if we want our bodies to look a certain way, we gotta exercise, we gotta work. Marriage is a job. It's hard. It's not easy. I don't care. I don't care how many times you apologize. It's not easy. It's hurt. It hurts. Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of support, guys. You guys are wonderful. These these comments are really cool. Yeah, somebody says she's ugly. Oh, yeah, she just has to. I'm not an expert, but I was. I had to be careful of the baggage that I was bringing in to my. You know, I'm I'm coming from a divorce situation, so you gotta pray. And the one thing I did pray on was, you know, Lord, let me be the. Let me prepare myself. We gotta do more prayers on not just bringing that person in, but. You know, like I said before. So, anyway, guys, I, I just want to thank you. Um, thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for the wonderful comments. And um, I'm just shocked. <laughs> just thank you for watching my video. And um, this is just a little recap video. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.